I'm making this video to review the conservation of momentum formative that we did last time. I'm just going to go over the multiple choice here on the front real quick. Uh, a batter hits a baseball back to the pitcher at the same speed as the pitch. Which of the following is true? And really this is about understanding that momentum is a vector. And so uh, the ball has the same mass and the same speed no matter what uh, direction it's going and so it has the magnitude of the momentum is the same um, when the ball is traveling uh, away from the pitcher and then towards the pitcher. Uh, so the correct answer is D. A is is sort of the closest wrong answer. The momentum of the ball is not the same because because uh, before the batter hits the ball uh, the momentum is let's say positive and then after the batter hits the ball it's going in the other direction so the momentum is equal and opposite. Um, a small marble collides with a billiard ball that is initially at rest. Which of the following is true? And there's a couple questions on this formative that are similar to this um, idea and the correct answer is that the momentum of the billiard ball increases and the momentum of the marble decreases. And we, we kind of think about conservation of momentum uh, in, in a system like this where, where what's really happening is some of the momentum of the marble is being transferred to the billiard ball uh, because we know that, that uh, the billiard ball will be moving maybe slowly after the marble hits it but it would be moving and then uh, so it would have it would have some positive momentum and and if for momentum is to be conserved then the marble must have decreased in its momentum so that the momentum of the billiard ball could increase um, we've talked a lot about this one uh, you know two ice skaters they're at rest they push off of one another and certainly their initial momentum is zero because they're at rest. So their final momenta, or the sum of the momentum of the two skaters, um, has to sum to zero. So they've got to be equal in magnitude and opposite in directions. And if you think about it conceptually, um, if you and your friend just push off from one another, you're going to be going in opposite directions. So your, your velocities will be opposite. And uh, because of conservation of momentum, uh, the momentum, uh, your momentums will be equal and opposite. <clears throat> um, and now we're getting into the basic definition of conservation of momentum. Uh, when two objects interact in an isolated system, the total momentum is always conserved. Uh, so it could be that, that the objects are moving, so their momentum is not zero. It also could be that momentum is transferred from, from one object to another. Uh, but the total momentum is always conserved, period. That is the law of conservation momentum. And this is a little more, this is really the same question, but it's, it's saying which of the following expresses that law of conservation momentum. And, and it, it really just says that uh, D is the correct answer. The total momentum of an isolated system remains constant regardless of the forces between the objects in the system. So it's okay if objects bump into each other um, and... Um, uh, or if, if they're if they're attracted to each other by like gravity or or an electrostatic force or something because that's just in be that's all happening within the system and uh, you'll remember from our notes on this topic that uh, the conservation of momentum follows from Newton's third law that is every action has an equal and opposite reaction and so uh, that was when we derived our formula for conservation of momentum we began with Newton's third law and finally uh, the last question on this side a billiard ball hits the edge of another billiard ball that is initially at rest and the second ball moves off at an angle um, so the correct answer is D momentum lost by the first ball is gained by the second ball and that that's the same thing we saw with the marble and the billiard ball in question number two above. Um, surely uh, the second ball, the momentum of the second ball changes because it's at rest and then it's moving. Um, we know that the total momentum of the system must be constant because of the conservation of momentum. And, 
and and ultimately the momentum of the first ball has to decrease so that the momentum of the second ball can increase. And uh, the next video will cover the the backside of this formative.